Hello everybody, uh, my name is Hexen Overlord. Um, I'm gonna do a let's play for you guys. Um, this is technically my first let's play, so uh, if I have any sound or audio problems, uh, guys just put it in the comments and let me know. Uh, the game I'm playing is uh, Metal Slug 3. Uh, it's a cool game, I love it. I, uh, I used to play it when I was a kid. <laughs> And um, and I'm obviously going to play it on the easiest setting, just to get a feel for the thing. Because um, this game is known to be vicious if you don't play it on the easiest setting. So, uh, yeah. Let's get it going, huh? Okay. Just feed the coins. Let's go. Okay, cool. Now, I usually... I don't know why, but I always like to play as Marco, because Marco is the guy from the first one. But uh, let's give uh, Theo a shot. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get let this let's play run till the st end of the second level, or at least till my auto doesn't, you know, do its thing anymore. I love this game. He's bigger, ish, <laughs> vicious. These bloody bubble things that they throw off is so annoying. Okay, super grenade. The, the, the top part is the by far the easiest um, way to complete this level. The bottom part has the submarine section, which is just very difficult. And you, you in the submarine section, you're like shooting down, you know, you're not, you're not moving vertically, which is just very annoying. And that bottom path as well, yes, where, yes, where the boss slits again, it, the bottom path is a bit trickier than the stop path, but the stop path just is basically just a quick access to the end of the level. Okay, here we go. Oops, ah, oh, that sucks. <laughs> Oh well. My favorite game out of the series is obviously Metal Slug 2, um, and not Metal Slug X. I don't, I don't know why people keep on saying that Metal Slug X is better than Metal Slug 2, or it's good that it's more refined. In my opinion. Metal Slug 2 was just the perfect game. There was nothing wrong with it. Never, never needed to be re-released at all. But you know, they just did it, which isn't isn't a problem. I think, it, in my opinion, I think it was because they um they needed uh, to sell more Metal Slugs because um between three and four they had a bit of a financial problem getting more Metal Slug games out. But um you know it's not a problem with me. Metal Slug 3 is, uh, is in my opinion the one of the one of the better ones. Um, it's not as good as 2, and uh, it's it's a bit more of an ep of an epic game. It feels like they spend more money on the game itself, but at the end, except for the first and the second stage, uh, the game isn't just isn't that fluid as uh, as Metal Slug um, 2. Not, not not even close. Enemies also don't don't have that you know viciousness that they had in the second one. Mission complete. Here we go. Mission two. Now this this stage with the zombies is just brilliant. First of all, it's a lot like the zombie stage in that you uh, you can convert into a zombie, like you could convert into a mummy in the in the second game. But the, the difference this time around, if you convert, you uh, you actually change into one of these zombies, and you can actually like spit the blood in like an arc, like here, which uh, is really cool. So you can like, which is just awesome, you know. Okay. It's like a clear screen button, which is just awesome. There's a couple of cool secrets in this game as well, in this stage as well, which is just uh, really cool. Ah, king hell. Sorry about that. I 
always forget to use the the bombs. There you go. Thundercloud! Thundercloud! Yes! I love Thundercloud, it's cool. You only have it for a limited time, so just get busy shooting. <laughs> monkey. <laughs> I always get the monkey and I, ne I never understand, you know, if it makes any difference. God damn it. Let's see if I can get the, the helicopter for the spitty blood thing. Yeah, this game uh, I haven't played in a while. You sort of need to be quick. You need to be really quick. And I'm playing it now with the Xbox 360 controller on my PC. But um, yeah, you you really need those uh, arcade buttons. They it's just it's just vicious. This isn't like Super Meat Boy bad, but it's it's quite intense. Okay, here's the big the big secret of the stage. Whoa. Whoop. Now the Iceman's bit. Also the only part in the game where you actually ally with the bad guys, which is kind of funny. Why they're attacking you, God only knows. And here we go. These Ice fuckers are vicious, man. You have to be really quick. And these, these, they, they breathe these ice balls, which you'll see now, and they follow you. <laughs> and you can't like shoot them down. That's sort of unfair, but at least they don't kill you. You just need to be really quick if they hit you. Ooh. The section also has this this path on the top, which is just goddamn annoying. Ah, come on. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> that was tricky. Yeah, it was close. Here we go. Ah, goddammit. <laughs> Kiss my ass, bitch. That was close. Okay, here's the, the, the end of this level, or you think it's the end of the level, and then you get a, of all things, you get an elephant. Why you would get an elephant, but not, not a mammoth or anything like that, because I just don't understand. But oh well, you know, can argue with uh, what you have. The easiest thing to do in this stage is just to keep walking because th they give you this this laser battery thing and these guys at the top are viciously tough they, they just don't stop so the best thing is just to keep shooting and just keep electrocuting damn it let's see if I can clear this room with this uh, here we go, here we go. Yeah! Oh, no elephant for me. Oh, come on, come on, kill me. Okay, doesn't matter. That that piece of uh, ice at the end of the stage there is where the elephant goes away anyway. Ah! Yeah, that's, that's actually really unfair. You know, these arcade games were always a bit, uh, bit difficult. Okay, now we get to the end of the second boss, which is those aliens. These these uh, zombie soldiers are really you have to be tricky for just careful of them. They, they do this jump thing, and y you can't outrun them. I've tried this. If you, if you run in into their faces while shooting, you you just won't kill them. That's okay. That's games, I guess. Here we go. 
That's cool animation, though. It sort of reminds you of the zombies of the first one. This enemy has a has a weird start. But it's it's a, its second power or the second phase of its attack is actually very really weird. For the, the first time I played, I was like, "What?" <laughs> oh. I presume these aliens are the ones that uh, that created the uh, the zombies. So I assume so. Of course, could be a creation of the uh, bad guys. Yeah, to get, to get full, full, to be really good at this game, you need to be quick with the with the um, with with the um, the bombs. <laughs> Come, the wood bombs just sprang out of my head there for a second. I mean, what the? This is so weird. <laughs> like big slabs. <laughs> Concrete that falls from the sky, but this gets really difficult, especially on the harder levels. You keep on shooting this guy, and it like drops things every two seconds. It like boxes you in. Ah, jeez. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while. Bit of sucky today. Here we go. Now you're gonna die, bastard. Yeah. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that was cool. Um, the first and second stage of uh, Metal Slug 3. Um, this concludes this part of the uh, Let's Play. Um, this is my first Let's Play, so if you guys like, just comment, you know. You can subscribe to my channel if you want to, but um, I always find it a bit icky when the other guys tell you to subscribe, so you don't have to if you don't want to, but just... Uh, oh. See you back here for part Mission two three, of Metal Slug 3 Let's Play. See you guys.